What is going on everybody? Uh, you join me here in Milan, Italy, where Honda is showing off some updates to the Civic Type R. Some exciting updates that are specific to the US market, then in addition to that, some things that are cool for Europe and the Japanese market as well. You are looking at, yes, it looks like the Type R that you're used to seeing on the roads in the US, but this is called the limited edition. That's why the plate in front of the car says that. Um, a couple things up front about the limited edition that are unique. There's 600 units that are coming to the US market. It's limited to just 600 units and every single one of them is painted this shade of Phoenix Yellow. Phoenix Yellow, for the Honda fanboys, know it as the color that was previously on the Integra Type R and it's just a really historically significant color for the Honda and Acura brand. So all 600 of them are going to feature this shade. Uh, you also get these black mirrors and this specific black contrasting roof that's also specific uh, to this limited edition model. And then the contrast on the inside is red interior up against the yellow theme outside. It's like a ketchup and mustard thing going on here. This is a Euro spec version of this car, which gets an infotainment delete and an air conditioning delete as well. It's important to say the United States cars are not going to get those options. So every model that comes to the US is still going to have the infotainment and it's still going to have the air conditioning in it as well. If you look closely right here, you get the plate number. So it'll be labeled one through 600 for the US. And then for this car, there's also a specific Alcantara wrapped steering wheel. Other than that, it's the exact same interior that you get in the Type R. Honda made it a point to talk about all the weight savings that came along with this car. It saves 46 pounds over the standard issue Type R. And the way they did that is mainly right here. So we're working with 20 inch BBS forged aluminum wheels. Um, why did they farm out the wheels to BBS? BBS actually also manufactured the wheels for the Acura NSX, so they already had a good working relationship there. Uh, 20 inch wheels here, forged aluminum, those save 18 pounds of unsprung weight over the wheels that come on the standard issue Type R. And then if you look closely, these wheels are wrapped in Michelin Pilot Cup Sport 2 tires. So the standard Type R comes on Continental tires. These are a lot stickier, which will make this car faster around a track. Speaking of a track, one would assume that this would be the vehicle that Honda is going to use to get back the front wheel drive production car record at the Nürburgring. Uh, the Type R a couple years ago set a time of 7 minutes and 43 seconds, then Renault took it over at 7 minutes and 40 seconds. This car potentially will get that record back, although at this time Honda is not confirming that they're running the car. We can only really, really strongly assume that they're going to. In addition to those lighter weight wheels, uh, there's some reduced sound deadening in the car. They also yanked out uh, some of the features in the back. There's no rear, rear windshield wiper. There's no tonneau cover in the back. So just a couple of random miscellaneous things in the car to get the weight down. Like I said earlier, 46 pounds lighter than the standard issue Type R that we get in America. The European model is going to be even lighter because it doesn't have the air conditioning and the infotainment. Uh, I should also mention that Honda retuned the dampers. So these dampers are gonna be a little bit more aggressive, uh, a little bit more ready for the track. And then they recalibrated the steering as well, which Honda says brings back a little bit more feedback to the driver. So overall, just some slight tweaks to this limited edition model, but enough to make it stand out from the regular car and definitely enough to make it stand out to fans of the brand, especially the fact that there's only 600 units coming to the US, the fact that they're all painted in this yellow, which is a huge heritage color for the brand. Uh, really cool stuff so far. It'll be coming to the US market later this year in the fall. What we don't know is pricing. So the 2020 Civic Type R uh, will start at $36,995. There will be a premium on top of that for this model, but how much? We're not quite sure yet. Um, but because it's so limited edition, it's probably going to be tough to get your hands on in the U.S. market. So here's a little first look at the 2021 Honda Civic Type R Limited Edition in Milan, Italy.